Es ist der 21. September 2022. Es ist der Tag, an dem Putin eine Teilmobilmachung lanciert hat. Putin, der Muster Autokrat auf der Welt. Und Sie sind hier, um die Musterdemokratie zu diskutieren. Und meine Tour heißt von der Autokratie zur Demokratie. I'm happy to have you here all over the world. As we join three of us, three of the board of the member of the three board members of the Swiss Democracy were invited to join the Ukraine conference in Lugano. And I was really happy after two days I saw what's going on. I saw so many people discussing. There were so many people find, trying to find solutions. Uh, for me, this war, it's not only war about, uh, it's not only anti-colonial war, it's not a uh, war for the future for, of democracy. It's also a war between truths and lies. And uh, Ukraine fights for it, not only for its own future, but uh, future for democracy and all like free world. Thank you all. Good morning, everybody. Good morning and welcome to the 2022 Global Forum here in Lucerne. My name is Bruno Kaufmann. I'm a journalist uh, from Switzerland living in Sweden and one of the two co-presidents together with Joe Matthews of this Global Forum and together with a great team of people, of partners, we have prepared this forum which had to wait for a long time. We planned it for 2020. We planned it for 2021, and now we are here, and I'm very happy to see you all. Uh, yeah, yeah. So my question to you, um, if you've got it, is essentially, um, you know, is, is, is how do you get this impact? I mean, how do you get this impact? If you were designing, you know, uh, a citizens assembly for our home state of California. To return to your question and how the democratic activists in other country can help people in this country, in Cuba and the in Tunisia, in, in many places. I'm Sam Chang, I come from Taiwan, and uh, I basically promote the idea that you should have the choice to go no against the politician you despise the most <laughs> and have that vote counted as minus one. Okay, on the way, I'm from Liberia, West Africa. I am moved by the reason the war should be democratic. And with that, I have no option. My country has no option but to support the movement regarding my presence here. And uh, this initiative, more than direct democracy, serves as a relief to democratic governance, to human participation in the state, equal participation, equal distribution of wealth, equal involvement in government, freedom, tolerance, and what have you. With that, my country deems it necessary to be a part. And uh, it's a very nice and uh, hopefully event for me because we Brazilians, Amanda is with me here, we Brazilians are facing the deepest, I guess, one of the deepest moments in our history of our democracy, very young democracy. I'm 
why diversity is a resource that benefits that could uh, be um, um, of uh, great value for democracy. Okay, um, dear parliamentarians, we are here today because we need to create uh, we need to create a new deepness of our democracy. So I really think you should notice, as our representatives, that you don't know everything about all of us. So you are just a group of people who got elected. Um, for some time, so you're not that different than us, and you don't know much more than us. So I think you should know this, and we can do that together, that we should open up our democracy and give voice to more people, to more perspectives, and to see then how we as a whole society um, are able to integrate all these needs of all these people. Because we need to go forward together. In this time of polarization, it's our only chance of building a community together if we learn how to integrate minorities in a way that it makes them feel included.